Well, this morning, it's Sandra. It's the first time we've um, been at Dartford in 2016, so Happy New Year to everyone. It's our first periscope of the year. Um, we're at Dartford Farmers Market, which takes place on the third, third Friday of every month. And um, we're just going to quickly pop round and see John from Broomfield Farm. Um, he's Ooh, going to talk to us about his farm. Good morning, John. Morning. Um, John, could you give us a bit of information about your farm? Yes, um, our farm, my grandfather was a rubber planter out in Malaya and retired in the late 1930s and came back to the UK and he bought um, Foxendown Farm in Methem in Kent um, in the late 1930s and then he, my parents took over and bought Broomfield Farm also in Methem um, in the early 1950s and we're primarily apple and um, or fruit growers, apples, pears, we also grow some soft fruit as well. Right. So you've got a selection of your different varieties of um, apples here today, so could you give us a bit of information about the different apples, why, why, why there's so many different varieties, the different names and everything? Well there are many, many different varieties, um, <coughs> one of the varieties which many people know is Cox. The Cox. Now one of the, the Cox orange yeah. pippin, now one of the problems with Cox is, is that they're quite a difficult crop to grow, they're a difficult crop to store, um, and so there have been quite a lot of um, attempts over the years to breed a better um, variety which still retains a lot of the cops attributes um, but um, has better characteristics. Um, for example, we have the red pippin here um, which actually stores a lot better than the cox. And, um, it is much less susceptible to some of the diseases which um, cox have. So how many, how many different varieties of apples do you grow? Um, we grow about 20 different varieties of apples. Right. Um, some of them are early season ones, which I won't have here now. Um, I guess there are probably um, five or six early season ones. Um, <coughs> and then we've got about um, um, 10 different varieties here. So the Laxton Superb, is, is this quite an unusual one? This is an unusual apple now, but it used to be very, uh, a very popular apple. Um, <clears throat> certainly when I was growing up in the um, 1960s, it was one of the main, uh, main varieties then. Um, one of the problems with it is that it tends to be what they call the annual bearing. So, it crops heavily one year and has a very light crop the following year. Right. And it does need quite a lot of management in order to get um, a uniform crop each year. Um, but it's, it's quite a nice flavour apple, probably a little bit softer than what most people like now though. And which is the earliest, uh, the, the, the apple that... The uh, earliest variety of apple that we grow is Discovery, right. um, which won't be here now. Um, that comes in in... Um, early to mid um, August, um, then it's then followed by another Laxton apple, one called Laxton Fortune, right. um, which normally comes in in late, um, late August. And you do pears and soft fruit as well? We do the pears, I mean for the pears at the moment we've got the conference pears which are the um, classical <coughs> long pear and we've got the um, commies pears which are nice and juicy, um, and we also have an earlier variety of apple, of pear rather, um, which we call, um, well, it's called Triomphe de Vienne, um, but we've anglicised it to Triomphe of Vienna, um, being easier for most people to pronounce, um, which is fairly similar to the uh, commis pear, um, in as far as it's um, nice and juicy, but it just is not one which keeps well. And the soft fruit. And the soft fruits. Because um, I know we use some of your soft fruit. <laughs> indeed you do. Um, we start off the season normally with the gooseberries and strawberries. Um, but we also grow raspberries um, and blackberries and loganberries. And I certainly know you use the loganberries in your um, jams. 
<coughs> we also grow red currants and black currants. <coughs> a lot of the soft fruit is grown for pick your own. Yeah, and people, how often are you open? When are you open for the pick your own? Um, for the pick your own, once the season starts, we're open seven days a week. Um, from um, probably about nine o'clock in the morning to late at night. Um, sometimes during the summer months, like um, July, if we get some very hot conditions, um, it really becomes oppressively hot to many people in the uh, late afternoon, and it's not normally a problem for us. If people want to come in and in the slightly cooler evenings, it's seven or eight o'clock at night to pick. And you do harvest trails sometimes and apple tasting, is that yes, right? Yes, we do that. Um, we've, uh, to start the um, apple harvest season off, um, normally at the end of um, August or very early September, we set out a trail around the orchards, which also includes some other features on the farm, um, with the opportunity of sort of seeing how the crops are growing, we put out information about the um, about the crops and the different varieties which we have. Um, quite a lot of um, seasonal information. So we may say that, um, for instance, one year there's been a particular problem with, um, for instance, codling moth, um, which attacks the apples. <coughs> um, so we try and provide some some information about those those things, um, and then. You also mentioned apple tasting. We have an apple tasting in October um, where the main um, selection of varieties is available then um, and that's normally held around about the 21st of October um, the 21st of October being National Apple Day. Right. And we try and keep uh, to the weekend which is closest to that. And if people wanted to find out a bit more about you, do you have a website or anything like we that? We do have a website. Um, if you were to Google Mepham Fruit, M-E-O-P-H-A-M Fruit, that's all one word, um, that's probably the best way of looking it up. Alright. Well, thank you very much, John. That was, that was really interesting. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Right. So there you go. And here we have gourmet sausage. They're the on Next, next to them, um, and gourmet sausage. They, they're, um, they're near Wilmington, Sidcup Way, and they've been attending farmers markets for several years. But John, John um, from Broomfield Farmers, who we was talking earlier, he, he's actually attended the farmers markets um, for uh, over ten years. He's a big supporter, and um, it's been a pleasure finding out a bit more about his business. Hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you. Bye bye.